What's up guys, YDCB here with some more The Best Action and due to popular demand today we're gonna be doing the best Escher. Escher's the light werewolf, right? Let's take a look at his skills first, you know, let's talk a little bit about what he does, right? So primar primarily people use Escher, right, as a nuker because he's really tanky first. He's really tanky. He's he's like a HP type monster. 12840, 12840 base HP, right? That makes him really tanky, right? And normally, how you want to ruin Asher is HP quit damage HP. Let's take a look at his skills first, right? This is the this is the one thing that makes Asher good. Massacre, all right? Violently attacks the enemy four times to inflict damage proportionate to Asher's HP and removes the beneficial effect with a 50% chance for each attack. You know what? Why Asher is so good nowadays? Because Asher is the counter for Theomars, right? You know Theomars, when, when Theomars drops to 0 HP, he gets an Endure buff. Asher can drop Theomars to 0 HP within 2 hits, right? So the next hit that Asher does, right? The next hit that Asher does is gonna remove Endure buff and the next hit, because 4 times, right? So the 4th hit that he does it's gonna kill Theomars. So when you see a Theomars and you have an Asher, you should like, you know, when you see a Theomars comp on A on defense, if you have an Asher, you should bring him and you can one-shot Theomars, like potentially one-shot Theomars. Of course, there are things like RNG not going in your favor and you don't remove beneficial effects or he resists it and shit like that. However, that's, that happens in all cases. So. Asher is one of the really good counters for Theomars. Let's look at the second skill. It's like a utility skill. It's a heal. It's a it's a really mini, small heal. It doesn't heal for a lot, but it gives speed for two turns, which is which synergizes really well with speed type monsters or monsters that benefit from getting more turns. Right? The first skill stops HP recovery for one turn. Well, honestly speaking. HP recovery one turn not such a big deal. You can put him on revenge, but even then. I don't really like, you know, it's just one turn. Why I would, if I were to use Asher, it's just because of Massacre. And we're gonna take a look at Massacre today. But before we do that, we're gonna look at the runes, right? So this Asher that, that, that Dr. Lollimon has, right, is on Rage, Rage rune. Offset, like I said, doesn't matter. Of course, if you can go Revenge, it's best or will. But Rage, you, you really just want him to give him maximum crit damage with as much HP as possible. So as you can see, he has like 37, 38, or 37k-ish HP and he has like 233 crit damage and 73% crit rate. So the, let's take a look at his rules. I believe it's HP, crit damage, HP, right? HP, crit damage, and HP. Let's just quickly go through the runes really quick. There's crit damage 18 on this one. It's pretty... You see, what do you want for Asher? Is you want runes that give you crit rate, crit damage, and HP, like this one here. Crit damage and HP. Good rune, right? This one is HP, so it's crit rate. And look at this one. Wow. <laughs> wow, fuck. This one has like 12, 14, and 7. This is really good. This is nice, right? This is also very nice. Crit damage, crit rate, and HP. So ideally, every rune you want to have crit damage, crit rate, and HP. Like crit damage, crit rate, and HP. And if you have speed, it's a bonus, right? So let's take a look again. And it's, he has 136 speed, right? It's, that's okay. Okay, so so this is what what is what makes him hit really hard. So we're gonna test it out right now on Fimon, last boss, right? First, we can test out his. His default attack, it's, it doesn't scale with HP, so if, unless you give him like attack or damage attack, he's not gonna do much damage. Let's, let's just take a look at it anyway, right? It's gonna do like really little damage, it's like 7k damage, it's like shit, it's really shit. But what matters is Massacre in, in which we're gonna take a look at. So here we are, Faimon Volcano, last boss, let's see. Let's see if we can massacre this fucker, like one shot him, right? So we're gonna start off with an, with an armor break. All right, it worked. We're gonna start off with the seek buff, and now you. Oh my God! Why does this always have to happen? This always happens every time. I'm not. <laughs> I should bring immunity. I should bring immunity for this, right? Oh Jesus Christ! This this fucker, fucking idiot, man. Now I gotta, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna boost my attack bar. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Let's put down times one. 
Are you ready? Massacre, right? We can see how much damage it can do. Although, it wouldn't be as dramatic as one-shotting the boss, but we can see here. Let's see. So that's... Uh, did I see it correctly? Did I see... Is it 9k... 9.7k times 4? 9999... How much is that? Come, come. 36,000, that's well enough to kill a Theomars, right? That's well enough to kill a Theomars. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Like I said, this is gonna be a really short video. Don't forget to leave in the comments what you wanna see next video. Do note that we've already covered Rocky, Lucian, and Asher, so don't repeat those, okay? So, um, that's it. That's all we have for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!